palmitas, welcome back to my channel, bienvenidos a mi canal de YouTube, I am finally back, por fin ya regresé you guys, um, so hoy tengo, el niño va a cumplir tres semanas el jueves, este jueves, so my son's gonna be turning three weeks this Thursday, so yeah, I was like, I've been gone so long that I was like, I have to get back. So yeah, you guys, I'm finally here. I'm going to be answering some postpartum questions for you guys. So voy a estar pre uh, contestando unas preguntas de después que tuve el niño o cuando, yeah, something like that. But yeah, you guys, so yeah, you guys, I hope everybody's doing well. Ojalá que todos estén haciendo. I hope, uh, uh, la, 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 la. can't even talk. Ojalá que todos estén bien. That's what happens when you're trying to talk both languages, you guys. It's so annoying, but I'm doing it for you guys. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go with these questions. Ya voy con las preguntas. The first question is if I got the epidural. Uh, la primera pregunta es si gané la medicina que te lo ponen en la espalda. Uh, la vacuna or something like that. Um, y si, si la agarré. Uh, yes, I did get it. Uh, baby girl had to get it. So, yes, the answer is yes. So, si lo agarré. Uh, number two, number two, you guys, it says, did you experience postpartum depression? Um, si ex ex experience, say, um, depresión, algo así. Uh, y no, you guys, so no, I didn't get postpartum depression. Not even with none of my kids. I was Gucci. I was just ready to pop. So, I was good. No, I haven't got depression. It's just a lot of work. Si es mucho trabajo, ya con un nuevo bebé y con los otros niños, it could be a lot. Um, número tres, number three, you guys, it says, what was recovery like? Did you tear or got stitches? So what was recovery like? Um, so recovery wasn't that bad as like my other two. Uh, no estaba tan mal porque, um, Answering the second question, you guys, did you tear or get stitches? I did not tear uh, with, uh, I didn't get cut or get ripped or anything with my third child, which I was surprised because with my other two, I did. Um, so, no, no rompí, no gare stitches. How do you say stitch in Spanish? Stamp? No, no sé ni cómo se dicen. But, puntos? I think they call them like puntitos. I don't know, but. Uh, me fue bien, um, obviously, um, you still gotta go with the little guidance, like use the bottle and and wear those big old pads that are like almost from, from the top of your, you know, chain and then the back of your, you know, chain. But yeah, um, but it was good. I was so happy that I'm, I think I should say I'm good now. I, I'm fine now. Um, number four, number cuatro, do you say, were you scared of giving birth? Si tenía miedo... Dando luz y, um, I mean, it is something scary because it does hurt, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, si es algo que tenía miedo porque si duele y estaba preocupada a ver si iba a poder tener el niño porque ya tenía nueve libras una semana antes que lo tuve. So, I was scared even though la Nerine, my daughter, she was 10 pounds. But, I don't know, I was just getting scared because, you guys, I'm so scared of getting C-section. Tengo mucho miedo para tener cesárea. So, eso es lo, que, lo único que me estaba preocupando. Um, but no, it went really good, you guys. Um, literally, the baby was good. The question, another question is coming up that I'll explain more. Uh, number five, they say, how long until you felt normal after pregnancy? Um, they say, que, que tan lejos que ya me sentía normal ya que, tu, ya que estaba en embarazo, algo así. Um, how long until you felt normal after pregnancy? Well, obviously, after you start, uh, if you feel normal after pregnancy, after you stop bleeding. Uh, pues yo creo que uno se siente ya normal ya cuando uno está sangrando y ya no tiene la panza y no da. You know what I'm saying? Now I can say however I want. Uh, number six, número seis dice, how was labor? Uh, número seis dice, ¿cómo era mi, cómo era cuando tuve niño? Oh my God, you guys. So let me explain how all this went down. So, um, you know how I told you guys I was going to get induced on Wednesday the 10th? Como les dije que eh, me, iban a hacer, me iban a provocar los dolores el miércoles, que era marzo 10. Fui a las 6 de la mañana, so I went at 6 in the morning. 
and I checked in and everything. So what they did to me, you guys, what they did to induce me, they give you like these two pills. They get they put in abajo, like they put down there, and then um, those. I was like literally all Wednesday, all Thursday, I was in pain, you guys, in contract with contractions. Um, I wasn't dilating on Wednesday. On Wednesday, when I got there, I was one before they did the medicine. Um, cuando llegué tenía no más abierto uno centimeters, no sé cómo se dice en español. Um, pero llegué y después, I think by the end of the day, I think I was only two. So it took forever with that medication. So después, they gave me the pastilla in my mouth. So they tried a different medication, which was a pill. I took two down there and two in my mouth and nothing, you guys. I was in pain all Wednesday and then almost Thursday and nothing and nothing. They were going to send me home. Ya me iban a mandar para la casa porque they're like, um, this could affect the baby. They're like, it, it, it's just probably he's not ready and blah, blah. And I was just worried because I was like, oh my God, if I wait another full week, I was like, how much is the baby going to wait, you know? So, estaba preocupada porque dije, si me espero otra semana, el niño va a estar bien gordísimo. So, eso es lo que me estaba preocupando. But yeah, you guys, so then, um, so then they did the one through the IV. Once they put the IV one, you guys, ya que me ponieron la medicina por el, pues aquí, no sé, el saco en batalla, look, I still have the bruises. I see you guys, look at my arm, and then this one too. Right there. It was worse. I'll probably post some pictures of how it was um, when I first got them, both of them. But um, once they put the IV, girl, let me tell you, that pain kicked in like fast. Ya que me ponían esa medicina por el brazo, agárrate, Wendy. It was so bad, you guys. Like, they kept checking me and I kept um, dilating. So I was like, oh, no, we're staying. They're not sending us home anymore. Ya no me iban a regresar para la casa porque ya estaba, I was, you know, dilating. And, oh, you guys. And then I couldn't get the burdero. They wouldn't let me get the burdero, you guys. No me dejaban agarrar la medicina porque dijeron que... Since um, this is not natural labor that he's ready to come, it's they're actually giving me the medication for it to ovulate. They think that if I got the epidural, that I will stop dilating. So they're like, we can't give it to you yet. Oh my God, you guys. So let me tell you that I was in pain so bad. Um, that they're like, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. Oh, I got to the point that I was already getting uncomfortable. I was moving from one side to another that they finally let me get it. And then after that, we were Gucci. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, like an hour or two, they came in and I was already 10 dilated and a baby boy was ready to come out. So ya, cuando me checaron la, la última vez para ese tiempo, ya tenía abierto 10 y dijeron que ya podían sentir la cabeza del niño. They said that they could feel the baby's head already. So then all of a sudden, you guys, um, they're like, okay, it's time to push. I pushed, literally, you guys, I pushed like two, two or three times, I think. <laughs> it was all blur that moment. Um, I pushed and literally came out like fast, like I didn't even struggle or anything. I was so happy. It, it went so quick. And then when they told me that I didn't tear, I was like, what? I was like, that's good. And I, uh, I was like, so excited because I didn't want stitches. I don't, oh, that's like the worst. Um, no lo quería los puntitos, so estaba feliz que no, pues no, no rompí ni nada, you guys. So yeah, you guys. And then, um, so I had my baby boy on... March 11th at 5.50 something p.m. And a baby boy was 9 pounds and 13 ounces. And he was 21 and a half the length. So mi niño pesó 9 libras y 13 onzas. Y de largo era 21 mitad, algo así. But yeah, he was still a big boy. I'll show you guys a little clip right here, little boy. Um, I'll show you guys some pic. I'll throw some pictures. I did record him right now, a video of him laying down in the bed. Um, so I'll show you guys him on the bed. Uh, I have a little clip when he went to his first doctor's appointment. I'll probably throw that too. But let me show you that clip real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
hope you guys enjoyed those pictures and that video my baby boy um and then um baby boy's name is so i wanted miguel angel as his name but since my boo said there's so many Miguel's in the family. He's like, no, let's pick something else. Then I wanted Mateo. Yo quería Mateo el nombre. Y he wasn't feeling it. So I was like, at that point, you're starting in the hospital, you guys. I was learning in the hospital. I was like, just pick whatever. And he ended up picking the baby's name, Anthony. So that's my baby boy's name. Uh, number seven says, how much weight did you gain? ¿Cuánto peso subí? So you guys, before the baby, antes del niño, pesaba 186. I was 186 before the baby. Um, and then when I was going to give birth, ya cuando iba a tener niño, I was 213. So estaba 213. Y, and I just went to my doctor's appointment last week on Wednesday. So la última semana, el miércoles, fui al doctor y pesaba 190. So I was at 190. So, so far, I've lost 20-something pounds. So literally, you guys, I just need four more pounds and I'm back to my weight that I was before the baby. So no me faltan cuatro libras más para irme, um, para pesar igual antes del niño. Um, I don't know how much the total I gain if you guys want to do the math. If you're curious, uh, I was 186 and no, you could do 213 subtract 186. I have no idea. I don't want to do the math. But yeah. Um, and then number A says, how did you lose the baby weight? Como bajé el peso. Literally, you guys, nomás estaba tomando mucha agua. Um, wearing my faja. Literally, nomás cuando tuve el bebé. Um, after they, you know, they press on your belly. Ya que te estén plastando la panza. Um, I put the faja on right away. I put the little, how do you say in English? I don't know, but that thing that tightens your belly, like a waist trainer thing. Literally, I sleep with it. I, after a shower, I put it on. I have like, I have like a Colombiana one. I have a waist trainer, and then I have another one that they look like garzones, but they're not, but they're all the way up, and they're like half your thigh. I sleep with those at night because those are more comfortable, and then, cuando, and then when I'm walking around the house, I have the colombiana faja or the waist trainer because obviously you can't sleep with those because those, those will suffocate you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh, it says, number nine, did you have postpartum hair loss? Um, si perdí mucho pelo ya que tuve el bebé no, no, todavía no se me está cayendo el pelo it's just normal, you know when you brush your hair tienes poquito pelo I think that's normal um, pero no, I don't think so uh, number 10, número 10 dice favorito postpartum item postpartum item uh, favorite, uh, favorito cosita o no sé qué después que uno tiene el bebé lo que más me encanta es ese little bottle ese bote que le echas agua y si te estás echando abajo cuando estás mirando Feels bomb. Se siente rico. <laughs> but yeah, that's my favorite item. Um, and numero 11 dice, number 11, it says best and worst part of labor and delivery. Lo más mejor y lo más peor. Lo más peor eran los contraction. Eran los pinches um, dolores que te pegaban. Era lo peor. Y lo best, obviously, cuando mi niño nació. The best thing when my baby was born. Uh, numero 12, number 12 says, what's one thing that didn't go according to your birth plan? If you could change it, would you? Um, obviously things happen for a reason, todo pasa por algo, uno nunca quiere cambiar lo que pasa, todo pasa por algo. Um, but obviously I don't think I would want to do ever induce again if, like just let it be, you know, just let it be. Um, because the induce is a little bit more painful, uh, es más, duele más que te provoquen los dolores. So maybe that, but... I don't regret it. it. Obviously, you all experience something. You all have to go through something. Sometimes it's not that bad. But I just didn't like that I couldn't get the bird or when I couldn't handle it no more because obviously they're giving me that medication. But yeah. Um, and then... And then, yeah, you guys, that's it for these questions. I Sorry, but I'm looking there. I was answering the questions. But yeah, esas todas son las preguntas. Um, ojalá que you guys enjoy this video. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm glad that I'm black. Black. <laughs> Back. I te digo, you guys. Te digo. But, yeah, you guys. So, yeah. As, as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ojalá que gustan este video. Y como siempre, los veo por la próxima. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. Adios.